John, just back from South Africa where you finished the tour unbeaten, including a rare victory over South Africa schools. Just how pleasing was last season and that tour? Uh, no, it was. I mean, you know, obviously from a results point of view, we did well all the way through the programme. 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. Uh, you know, the whole programme did well from a results point of view. Including the under 20s. Uh, I actually calculated this one because people have been asking the question 26 games and 25 uh, victories, like, w which is pleasing, but it's not just about the, the fact yeah, that exactly. we scored more points than the, the opposition, it's actually how we played all the way through the programme. And yeah, the, the game against South Africa was a good way to end the programme. I mean, you always need to be aware that you're trying to pick the future's best. So, players who are going to go through the age grade system and, and compete for places in the Saxons programmes and also in England seniors, hence they'll, they'll be premiership players. Um, so you, you know, we always try and get a balance in t as far as the age profile is concerned, so um, a, a number of players who are going to be with us next year. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what we're looking for, we're looking for players who we think are going to be professional. I mean, that's the key. It's, it's actually provided sort of two pathways. Uh, yeah. You know, the independent, strong, strong rugby playing school, and now the, you know, and the, you know, now the Ace College. Um, and certainly over the last, I think it's five years, it's, it's been, you know, it, it, it's been run. It's about 50 50. 50% 50 come through the Ace pathway. So 50% of the players who are going to represent the national squad of the 70s, 80s are, are actually in this tournament. Uh, and then 50% come from the, you know, the more traditional yeah. through the independent school. Yeah, I mean they're key. I mean, yeah. obviously, you know, the the vast majority of time the players are on the regional yeah. academy, so the national program gets a lot of press on. Yeah, you know, but actually, you know, the vast majority of the players should go to the regional academies and its stakeholders. So when I say regional academies, I mean the schools and the clubs and, and the ace colleges, because that's all part of a regional academy. But yeah, we've got we've got 14 strong regional academies. The work that the PRL yeah. do for Mike Hainor, the RFU do for Alan Powell, to ensure that. You know that there is, you know that there is quality, um, and it's 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 actually not complicated. It's about identifying and developing yeah. players who you think can go through the system and be professional players. I mean, it's yeah, it's, it, it's all about having a look what's out there. We yeah. we know quite a lot of players. Players have been and are currently in the system, but this festival and you know and all the way through this year, we'll be we'll be picking up players who haven't yet been identified. You know, so they're probably in regional academies, and you know, that's pretty much that's pretty much a given. But they they, they wouldn't have been in the national program because obviously with our sport, a late specialisation sport, then you know you've you know you've got to keep the net as wide for as long as you possibly can. Yeah, we'll have lots of good players who play lots of good rugby. Yeah, yeah. And as far as the scoreboard, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sure we'll do well in lots and lots of games all the way through the program. Well, wherever we'll go and beat them. I mean, we'll have to see. I'll be honest, that's, you know, that's not particularly high on my agenda. As long as we, you know, we, you know, the players improve through, through the system, we ensure that we have the right players in the system and they play some, you know, they play some good rugby.